Eight Z Mysteries, Book Number Eight, The Haunted Hotel, by Ron Roy. Chapter One. Oh my gosh! Dick cried. There's a ghost in Green Lawn. Donald David Duncan, Dick to his friends, was reading the Sunday newspaper on his living room floor. Josh was sprawled on the sofa. He was using raisins to teach Dink's guinea pig Loretta to do math. Loretta gobbled up one of the raisins. Loretta, Josh scolded, "If you keep eating all the raisins, you'll never learn to add." Ruth Rose was doing the crossword puzzle. Maybe she's trying to teach you to subtract, Joshua. She said. Josh tossed a raisin at her. "I'm serious, you guys," Dink said. He poked his finger at the Green Lawn Gazette's front page. "Come here and read this." Ruth Rose glanced at the newspaper. "Hey, that's Mr. Linkletter!" she yelled. Josh put Lerida in her cage, then read the headline over Dink's shoulder. "Haunted Hotel." Ghost scares away Shangri-La guests. See, I told you," Dink said. Josh grinned. "You don't really believe that stuff, do you?" he asked. "I'll bet it's a Halloween joke or something." Yeah, well, Mister Linkletter looks pretty unhappy in this picture," Dink said, "and he never tells jokes. Besides." Halloween isn't for two more weeks," Ruth Rose added. Josh snorted. "Well, I don't believe in ghosts," he said. "Not until I see one with my own eyes." Listen to this," Dink said, reading from the paper. Guests report seeing a ghost floating down the hall at midnight. It was carrying a silver sword. Josh snorted again. Ghosts don't carry swords," he said. Ruth Rose reached for her jacket. "Why don't we go to the hotel and see for ourselves?" "Great idea," Dink said, pulling on his sneakers. Josh let out a big sigh. "Okay, but I'm only coming to prove that I'm right." The kids left Dink's house and headed around the Silver Circle. A bunch of kids were playing soccer at the elementary school. Their noses were pink, and Dink could see their breath. The cheese surrounding the playing field had turned red and gold. On Main Street, a long banner hung between two telephone poles. Big letters spelled out the words, "Green Lawn welcomes you to Fall Foliage Week, October thirteenth to twentieth. Come see our colors." The kids stopped across the street from the Shangri-La Hotel. Look, Dink said. People lugging suitcases were streaming out of the hotel. One woman was still wearing her slippers; they were pink and fluffy with floppy bunny ears. A newspaper reporter was trying to interview people as they left the hotel. Hello, sir," she said to one man. I'm Linda Gomez from the Green Lawn Gazette. What's your reaction to the hotel ghost? No comment. The man snapped and hurried away. Let's get her to interview us. Josh whispered. Maybe we'll get our names in the paper. We don't know anything yet. Dink said. Come on, let's find Mr. Linkletter. The kids crossed the street and squeezed through the crowded doorway. Inside, Mr. Linkletter was standing behind the front desk, listening to a man and woman. And we demand our money back. The woman was saying, "We came here to see autumn leaves, not to be frightened by ghosts." Mr. Linkletter sighed. Dink noticed that his hair was mussed and his eyes were red. "Of course, Mrs. Carruthers," he said. You'll get a refund for the entire week. I'm sorry for this trouble. We've never had ghosts at the Shangri-La. Dragging their suitcases, 
The couple hurried past the kids and shoved through the doors. Boy, they looked mad, Josh said. Let's go talk to Mr. Linkletter, Dink said. Just then the phone rang. Mr. Linkletter turned to answer it. Wait, there's Livy, Ruth Rose said. I wonder if she knows anything. Livy Nugent was vacuuming the carpet near the elevators. She wore a white uniform with a dark blue apron. Hi, Livy, Ruth Rose said. Livy smiled and switched off the vacuum. Ruth Rose, the last time I saw you, there was a kidnapping at the hotel. Now we've got a ghost. We read about it in the newspaper, Ruth Rose said. Is it true? The guests sure think so, Livy said. This place has been a madhouse since Friday night, our biggest week of the year, and the guests are running out the door. Josh smirked. Does the ghost jump out and say boo? he asked. Josh doesn't believe in ghosts, Ruth Rose said. Do you? Livy asked her. Ruth Rose shrugged. I don't know, but something's scaring the people away. Did you see the ghost? Dink asked. Livy shook her head. No, and I'd better not. When ghosts show up, I'm out of here. Just then, Mr. Linkletter hung up on the phone and walked over. Ms. Nugent, please continue with your work, he said to Livy. Then he turned to the kids. What can I do for you, children? We read about the ghost, Dink said. Josh rolled his eyes. And we saw all the people leaving, Ruth Rose said. Mr. Linkletter's sad eyes surveyed the hobby. All the guests had left, and the place was empty. Mr. Linkletter sighed. Apparently, a ghost is scaring away our guests, he said. Maybe we can help, Dink said. Remember how we found Wallace Wallace when you thought she was kidnapped? I'll never forget, Mr. Linkletter said. He looked at the three kids. His thin mustache twitched. His sad eyes squinted. Finally, he said, follow me, please. He turned and marched away. Chapter 2 Mr. Linkletter led the kids to his office. The room was small, with just a desk and three chairs. On one wall hung a painting of the hotel. A framed picture of an elderly couple stood on the desk. Please sit down, Mr. Linkletter said. The kids sat. Mr. Linkletter opened a desk drawer and took out a paper bag. Mint? he asked. Each of the kids took a mint from the bag and popped it into their mouths. Mr. Linkletter looked inside the bag, then popped a mint into his mouth, too. He sank back into his chair. This is terrible, he said. Mine tastes okay, Josh said. I think it's lemon. Ruth Rose nudged Josh. I think he means the ghost, she said. Josh blushed. Oh, sorry. As I was saying, Mr. Linkletter went on, it all started two days ago on Friday. It was almost midnight. I was closing my office when a guest ran into the lobby. She was yelling about a ghost on the third floor. Did she say what the ghost looked like? Dink asked. Mr. Linkletter smoothed his hair. She said it was all white except for the black holes where its eyes should have been. The three kids looked at each other. Josh's mouth was hanging open. Mr. Linkletter rubbed his temples as if he had a headache. Anyway, he went on, that guest checked out. Last night, more guests saw the ghost. Again, it appeared at midnight. Today, all those guests checked out. Mr. Linkletter shook his head. This ghost is ruining our business. Did any of the guests say where the ghost went after they saw it? Ruth Rose asked. Apparently, it just floats away and disappears, he answered. 
Did you see the ghost too? Dink asked. No, I went upstairs, but all I saw was a dozen terrified guests. Mr. Linkletter picked up the picture of the elderly couple on his desk. This is my aunt and uncle, Florence and Ebenezer Spivitz. They've owned the Shangri-La ever since they were first married forty-seven years ago. He looked at the kids. They're very worried. I don't know what will happen to the hotel if this ghost business continues. For a minute, nobody said anything. Finally, Mister Linkletter stood up. Now, if you'll excuse me, he said, I have to tell my aunt and uncle that the Shangri-La Hotel won't be having a foliage week this year. The kids thanked Mister Linkletter and headed back out into the lobby. Guys, we've got to do something," Dink whispered. "But what can we do?" Ruth Rose asked. Just then, Livy hurried over to them. "What did he say?" she asked. "He told us about the ghost," Ruth Rose said. She described it for Livy. "So there really is a ghost in the hotel," Livy said. She looked nervously over her shoulder. "What's Mister Linkletter gonna do?" I don't know," Dink answered. He looked at Josh and Ruth Rose, but we're gonna try to help, right? Good luck," Livy said. "I'll be down in my cubby hole eating lunch." She opened a small door next to the elevator and disappeared. "How are we supposed to help?" Josh asked Dink. "We don't know anything about ghosts." "Well, I know one thing," Dink said. No ghost is shutting down the Shangri-La if I have anything to do with it. Dink is right," Ruth Rose said. "Mr. Linkletter is our friend. We have to think of something." Suddenly, the elevator door opened. A figure in white stood staring out at them. "It's the ghost!" Josh screamed.